Amid the negative news about her family in recent weeks, the Queen has just been given two new corgi puppies to cheer her on through the family crisis. The new puppies have joined Her Majesty at Windsor Castle as her husband, Prince Philip, remains at St Bartholomew's Hospital in London following a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition. The new adorable additions to the royal household also come amid a quarrel between Harry and Meghan with the rest of the royal family ahead of the couple's interview with the US chat show host, Oprah Winfrey. It is not known what the name, ages or sex of the pets are, but they seem to have come at a good time, with the monarch needing some company while Prince Philip is in hospital. Both are said to be bringing in a lot of noise and energy into the castle while Philip is in hospital, an insider told the son. It is believed that the pooches were a gift for the conscientious monarch, who has a well-documented love for the breed. She is said to be delighted by the extra company at Windsor Castle, where she has been isolating with close staff amid the pandemic. It's been about two weeks since her husband of more than 70 years, Prince Philip, was hospitalised, and the Queen reportedly hasn't been able to see other family since December because of the coronavirus. The new puppies, whose names and gender weren't revealed, arrived some time after Philip went to the hospital on February the 17th, according to The Sun. They have only been there a couple of weeks, but are said to be adorable and made the castle their home, the source said. The Queen has owned more than 30 dogs since she was crowned in 1952, all of them either corgis or doggies, which are a cross between a dachshund and a corgi. All of her dogs are descendants of Susan, a corgi given to her as an 18th birthday present by her parents in 1944. The new puppies are not part of that royal line, but that's not stopping them from reportedly comforting the Queen during a tumultuous time. News of the puppies also came as a surprise, since the royal insiders had believed that the Queen would never get another dog after she stopped breeding corgis in 2018. Her final corgi, Whisper, died in October of that year. She's had just one pooch, a doggy named Cindy, since Vulcan, also a doggy, died last November. It's unthinkable that the Queen wouldn't have any corgis, the source said. It's like the Tower of London not having any ravens. The 94-year-old monarch has spent much of the year-long pandemic at Windsor, where she has been self-isolating with a small staff team and her husband. She has been alone since her husband Prince Philip was taken into hospital last month and hasn't been able to visit him because of the restrictions in place during the pandemic. She hasn't been able to get together with her family since the beginning of December.